Hey everybody, it's Sweepa Kermini here, aka Gracie, and today I'm doing a book review on How to Love by Katie Cattuno. This book was beautiful, okay? I can't even. Oh my god. I, I read it really, really quickly because it was just so good. It wasn't boring at all. There was no boring parts. And it was just so realistic and so refreshing. And honestly, I would read it again. I don't have it with me because I just lent it to my friend today and I finished it yesterday. So I'm gonna put up a picture right here. It might already be up. I honestly, I'm kind of doing the review before the summary and it was kind of like, I, I can't even con like continue how much I love this book. It was so good and I think the part that I love the most was just how realistic it was and it actually follows the story of Serena or Rena and Sawyer and all of their friends and everything. It's basically just following how before she had her baby Hannah and after she had her baby Hannah and it's just like I love the title too because it's so beautiful because by the end you understand like she's learning how to love herself, she's learning how to love Sawyer, she's learning how to love Hannah. It's just a beautiful story. How to love is about Serena and she's been in love with Sawyer for as long as she could remember. She had the biggest crush on him ever and her best friend Allie knew that and well things happened and it kind of led Sawyer and Serena to it, it got complicated. It got so messy. It got ugly. There was a lot of scenes that were like beautiful or sad. Made me cry. Made me laugh. There was just everything in this book. That's the before part. We're happy. They were kind of not happy. They were in the middle of everything and it took something really tragic for Sawyer and for Serena to like bond I guess you could say and then the after part because each chapter goes from before and then after every single time alternatively so it's three years later and so that means that Hannah would be three or just about to turn three basically Sawyer ran out on on Serena like years before and she hasn't seen him since so she's been raising Hannah on her own and this isn't a spoiler because it's in like the synopsis you basically just see what a transformation that Serena goes through from being completely obsessed and well not obsessed but like a in love with this guy like she loves looking at him she loves talking to him she loves everything about him from that to resenting him and like from that to completely having no respect for him because she he just left her so all of that happens and it's just like a beautiful true story well not true but it's just realistic and it's just so I can't even get past the fact how wonderful this story is because you just see so much growth between all of the characters between Sawyer exact like especially Sawyer grows so much and I have so much respect for him by the end of the story. I love Sawyer's character a lot and I also love Serena because Serena is like the cattiest, sassiest girl ever that I've ever come across in a book. However, she's also so like, she also like loves unconditionally with everybody. Like she gives everybody a shot but she's also like, well, you blow it so I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you basically. <laughs> so I gave this book actually five out of five stars on my blog which I will link down below so you guys can go check out all of my book reviews. I absolutely recommend this book to everybody because this book is not just a teen fiction book. It's everything. I think that it's good for anybody who maybe was a teen mom. She was only 16 when she had Hannah and I feel like maybe a lot of people, a lot of girls can connect with this book and even guys and I think like anybody struggling through, uh, I can't, I don't want to give it away so maybe I'm not going to say that but I just want to say that this book is for everybody and yeah and you know what the funny thing is that it was sitting on my shelf for like ages before I even picked it up and I finally did and I'm so happy that I did. Um, yeah so this is the end of my video now and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out all of the links in the description box down below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!